This is Let's Make a Slave, what's also known as the Willie Lynch Letters or the Willie Lynch Papers. Originally, this one was published by the Black Arcade uh, Liberation Library in 1970. Now, we had republished it, the Ethiopian Brotherhood of the Nazarene. This was in 1996, and we wanted to show you this particular evidence right here. Um, one particular comment uh, on our video basically said they never seen us so fired up. More fire, more fire. Well, here's the message, and the message is still the message is still true. Now, this is a letter by Willie Lynch, where he begins off, uh, "Gentlemen, I greet you on the bank of the James River in the year of our Lord, one thousand seven hundred and twelve. Please make um, pay attention to this." 1,712. Now he goes into his philosophies um, and his um, <clears throat> strategies toward um, man breaking and slave making of the lost sheep of the enslaved Africans or the Beta Israel. Now, as you look at this document, this is the first paragraph, and this is the second paragraph. This is the third paragraph. Now, pay attention to this right here. He says, in my bag here, I have a foolproof method for controlling your black slaves. He says, I guarantee, he says, he guarantee every one of you that if installed correctly, it will control the slaves for, pay attention to this, at least 300 at least 300 years, at least 300 years. So let's do the math on this. We have him beginning here, location, location, location on the bank of the James River, the Jamestown Colony in Virginia, in the year of our Lord, 1712. Now when you go to the next page, keep that 300 in mind. We're going to do a little bit of... Uh, mathematics with it, right? He says right here, the editor's note, it says that this speech was delivered by a by a white slave owner or slave master, right? Um, Willie Lynch, the slave driver, Willie Lynch on the bank of the James River in 1712. In 1712. Okay, let's take some paper right here and put... Uh, 1712, right? Plus 300, right? And then basically what you have when you bring this down, do this math, 17 and 3 is 20. So you have 2012. So if he delivered this speech in 1712, and he said this is a foolproof method that any stupid white man or any type of white person could practice, to basically control niggers, control black people for at least 300 years. So the end product is 2012 A.D. And this is what we mean by the Woolly Lynch um, prediction or prophecy. It's what Woolly Lynch said in this particular document that we have, let's make a slave. So I think we need to pay attention to this. And it's very interesting and important. And it's perhaps something that we have not put into the equation before. And it needs to be there. We need to understand that he basically um, tracked this particular scheme and program, let's make a slave, for at least 300 years. So this is a pivotal time that we're in right now, seeing that this 300-year period is basically up in 2012. All right, so more to come on this particular matter. If you have a copy of this, now the solution. Now the solution for this is actually this document right here. This is a this is an excellent solution. And now we're going to have a free download of this at our website www.loj society. And this document is called the Valley of the Dry Bones: The Conditions That Face Black People in America by our brother Rudolph R. Windsor, illustrated by El Hagan. El Hagan. This is a uh, this is a cover of the book. This is a cover of the book right here, the Woolly Lynch, uh, the Woolly Lynch, um, the Woolly Lynch letters. 
Valley of the Dry Bones. And just to give you a little, a little on the background right here, he says the conditions that face black people in America. It says the Valley of the Dry Bones, conditions that face black people in America by Rudolph R. Windsor is a fascinating compilation of history, anthropology, sociology, and theology. In clear, limpid prose, Windsor tells the history of black people from biblical times until today. Drawing extensively upon the Bible and many works by eminent scholars in various disciplines, the author has created a work that is once inspiring and intriguing. He seeks to prove that black people, more, more properly called black Israelites, are truly God's chosen people. As such, should become more aware of their unique heritage. The Valley of the Dry Bones represents a first step in this admirable endeavor. In the latter half of the book, Windsor moves from biblical times to the present. Not only does he delineate the problems blacks face, but he also offers some solutions, together with a lucid text and illustrations that are both timely and relevant. Windsor, in addition to knowing his history, has a wealth of common sense that he shares with his readers. No dusty volume of willingly forget, for, forgotten data. The Valley of the Dry Bones is a controversial and daring volume. That rare work of scholarship, a book that makes the lessons of history pertinent to the modern reader. The Valley of the Dry Bones offers its readers a glimpse into a field of research that indeed merits a great deal of attention and careful thought. So we suggest this particular book as a, a good way to at least start or continue the process of overcoming this diabolical and, 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 and evil, this evil idea that actually has been quite effective, let's make a slave, the Wooly Lynch um, letters, the Wooly Lynch papers. Once again, please remember it was delivered in 1712 on the bank of the James River. Wooly Lynch himself says that if installed correctly, he says right here, if installed correctly, you understand, he guarantees that it will control the slaves for at least 300 years, at least 300 years. And doing the math once again, 1712, 300, 2012, 2012 A.D.